Hello, my friends from Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. I'm standing here in front of the Mardi Gras Tribute Store. You know I love to document these. I can't wait to see what they have in there because they go all out for this stuff. It is just wild to see all the crazy details that they have. And this theme looks like it's a float factory or something like that. So I invite you to come along. Let's go check out the Mardi Gras Tribute Store here in Universal Orlando. So here's the entrance here. It has Mardi Gras all laid out there. And then it has right in the front here, the Tribute Store Float Factory. All right. So I'm guessing there's going to be a story to tell here as we enter. What do they have? What do they have? Oh, it looks like some sort of designer's space, like the work desk. Holiday Tribute Store, HHN Tribute Store, and the Mardi Gras Tribute Store. Now, the only other tribute store that they've done, besides all of the holiday ones, is the Jurassic World one, which I did do a video on, and I'll put that up in the corner right now. So it seems like there's a lot of drawings and actual 3D renderings of the tribute store, of how it's going to be laid out. And here it looks like the designs for a float. I don't know if I remember seeing this one in the parade, which, by the way, if you haven't seen that, it is amazing. And here's more for the facade. I'm trying to move out. There is some sort of reflection there, but holy smokes, this is a lot. Any other details here? Crunch week, build week, concept week. I like this right here. Earl's safety tips, safety lasts. <laughs> so now we're gonna enter the first section here. The tribute store, float factory, and prop warehouse. Let's get all of that in frame. <laughs> I do love this king alligator. All this stuff, they got like a sign. They have a candle, and I've smelled it before. I'm not sure what it exactly to describe its smell, but it was very... Um, if I'm remembering it right, I think it was a, uh, like, almost like a cologne. It's very fresh, though. Very fresh. Let's see, they got the tumblers. They have this fun shirt. Things are a little expensive, though. That is $40 right there. And then this bomber jacket is really cool. I actually saw a friend who had one of these. It's like $60, but honestly, the design is so nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see, assorted socks down there, this big purple hat, and then this fanny pack. Whole thing is really nice. Now let's look at more of the details here. I don't think I'm gonna do every piece of merchandise here. I think I wanna go over more of the details and stuff. Okay, okay. This is Phantom of the Opera, like an old school poster for it? Huh, peculiar to have that here. Then on the other side of that, we have a whole bunch of more of schematics, drawings, just a rough outlining of this float and the facade of the store. Then blueprints, for lack of a better word. I wonder if this has like some sense of scale or something to it between this and this up here. Maybe? I'm not sure. I see some old signs. That's what I assume that is because from what I remember, the Mardi Gras here at Universal has been happening for like 25 years or so or it's coming up on 25 years. That's a magnet. This is a cool pin set. I saw this, I'm thinking about getting it. It's six of the floats that are on here. I don't know, if, it looks like some of them are the new Planet Mardi Gras, which is kind of a storyline, something that they have not done before, is kind of add a storyline, and I'm here for it, for them to kind of expand on you know, how, you know, HHN has all its original stuff. Well, it's about time Mardi Gras and the holiday season got their own original stuff. So we have more concept art here. There's one for like a space gator and, and a space crawfish, I guess. And, oh, this looks a lot like that Disney character whose name is not coming to me. Wouldn't you agree? From uh, The Princess and the Frog? Huh. All right, so what else do we have here? We have this whole big setup. Oh my goodness. So this is getting way more detailed. So like just part of the capsule and then the assembly, the different components that are gonna be in here. What else? I mean, let me not forget to point out all these wonderful crowns and stuff like that. So if you want, <laughs> if you want to wear a gator on your head or a crown, <laughs> you are welcome to. Let's see, a lot of this looks like similar stuff. Like we saw that drawing already. Um, what else did we see? Oh, this is cool. This is like a tiny model of it. So that's like the front part of the float, that rocket ship float. I'm not quite sure what 
that is, but you guys know I love me a good Moldomatic, and they do have one of the Wax Gator, so let's go ahead and get one. All right, here it comes. Any moment now, we'll have our very own Wax Gator. And here he is in all his glory, a lovely little gator. It's gonna not focus on me here. And here it is, this very lovely gator. Check out that smile, isn't he precious? Before we leave this room, I just wanna go around the top here, see what other details we can see. There's a lot of stuff like over here. I wonder how much of this is actually like Horror Nights props. As we walk into the next room, I see more just giant signs, a little bit of universal monsters here, and then what looks like an old, like, foam mold of the alligator head, which is awesome. So this is like the, the machine room or something like that. And we have the, all the different assorted pieces of wood and shapes. There's for the rocket, another part of the rocket for that porthole, if that's what it's called when it's on a rocket. Then more bits of wood here, going up and across. Like I said, extremely detailed, extremely detailed. Let's see what it has here. It has some 3D renderings mixed with all the different parts, so it looks like, I don't know, like instructions from Ikea. It's pretty cool looking though. And then what is that, like a mold right there that you can pour in? I see plaster, so it must be for like plaster molding. Here's like all the candles they have. They have an insane amount of candles just for this holiday, which is nuts. Let's see, party out of this world. That must be for Planet Mardi Gras, Voodoo Smell, Hurricane Cocktail. This one here is my particular favorite. It's the King Cake one. It just, it smells like cinnamon and like, like cinnamon rolls basically. Let's see, what else do we have here? Lots and lots of decorations. Holy smokes. Amazing. That back there, that has to be like Graveyard Games or something like that, no? I think so. But speaking of HHN, they do have this bear here and a really fun photo op if you, uh, if you so desire it. But yeah, it looks like a lot of this stuff might be from, from old HHN houses. All right. Back in the corner there is another Moldomatic, so let's head on over. This Moldomatic is of a riverboat. Awesome. I love that I now have like a collection of these, and you guys have seen me collect each one. How awesome is that? So if my calculations are right, <laughs> this will be the sixth Moldomatic that I've collected from these tribute stores. Ooh, it's a little hot. Well, here's our riverboat. Super cool. Coming on out here into the light so you can kind of see the riverboat a little better. How fun is that? Oh, man. Does it have wording on there? Oh, yeah, it has Universal Studios on there. Oh, that's awesome. All right, cool. Happy to have this one in the collection. So this whole hallway is a look back in time of all the different Mardi Gras that happened in the past. Oh my goodness, that dog down there, a little scary. <laughs> but wow, this looks so cool. It's re they really gone all out every year for a while. I don't understand how I never knew about this. <laughs> a couple out of focus ones, photographer in me, those catch my eye. Oh, that's hilarious. When they gotta, presumably they gotta build them and then they have to come all the way over here. It looks like they have a convoy to do that. I see some tractors pulling them. But yeah, wow. So I think it's coming up on 25 years. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. This cyclops right here. <laughs> All right, next up is Scenic and Paint. All right, so they're getting, so I think this is like taking us from beginning to end in the process with getting this guy re ready. Alligator Alley is the paint color apparently. And then of course there's a spaceship. Oh wow. Oh, so it started in 91, I guess, if our math is correct. 91, and so, okay. 
Hats, hats, and hats. Oh my goodness, I just looked up. There's so many props. Just swinging this around because there's so many props. There's like tons of masks back there. Oh, lighting just changed. The detail is insane. These are look like old costumes here. Huh. Just all the way up and down. Now I wonder how many people come in here and are like, Oh, I remember this was from this year <laughs> on this float. <laughs> oh, and this definitely looks like it's from HHN, though. Maybe. Unless they have like a voodoo themed something or another going. And I've been talking about Planet... Um, Planet Mardi Gras, but here is the shirt for Planet Mardi Gras with the Rocket King. <laughs> um, and then this, like, this is the art style, the, the design that's been on everything. I actually have it on my lanyard, and I believe it's on, like, the on buttons, pins, and keychains as well. This is amazing. Just doing a quick little pan down here. They do also have a poster of that machine planet, and it looks like that is the last room just up ahead. So yeah, here we are. This is the space croc, or sorry, alligator. How awesome is this? So it did. The store takes you through all these different steps and stages of putting this whole massive thing together. Oh, look at the ceiling. Wow. Huh. And the lights, too. Everything. This is epic so much oh and one thing i spotted not too long ago it's mr earl the squirrel has his own spot up here <laughs> if you guys want a little photo of him he's hiding right here and this one this is a, this whole thing is a steamboat isn't it or a river boat yeah wow what a space so here's something i believe this is this year's no i don't see a year on it no it says mardi gras 2015 so that's it, and we're slowly making our way out. Oh, looks like some work is being done over there. Looks like they're done making their adjustments, but this is the one of the last photo ops here. It's just, I don't know, gorgeous, for lack of a better word. It's like it, it has the, their own little bead tree here, because they do have that bead tree over by the moving walkways. Then, of course, we have the medallions, which you can buy all four for $15. And here's a quick look at the different designs that they have. I'm probably not going to go for these, although if, if I could just pick this one, I would, but I've been swindled before, and uh, I ended up buying all of them. Oh, the sun. Let's bring this all the way down here. Here's my favorite photo op of the year because I actually posted one from this. The feet don't fail me now. So I did end up picking up some of the treats that were there. I didn't go through them all because there's. it's always weird to me because there's somebody just standing right there. And I know they probably understand it, but it's still weird for me. But anyway, I picked up one of these cookie dough balls, and they were buy one, get one. Love it's very nicely decorated, but let's uh let's see how it is. Holy smokes, that's good! It's like a brownie and like fudge and stuff going on in there. Mm. Amazing, would recommend, especially if it's buy one, get one. I don't think after this weekend I need more sugar, but mm, this is hitting the spot. All right, and next up is the king cake macaron. Let me flip this around. Oh, I already smudged it, but it has like the little mask on there, you're like your typical Mardi Gras mask. The king cake. I didn't get a king cake this time. It was just way too much. I saw how big it was, but apparently it comes with like a tiny metal baby. I thought that was strange. It's supposed to be for good luck and, and baby Jesus and all that, but mm, well, let's see how the macron is. It just tastes like vanilla cream or something in the middle. I don't know. I think the one this might have been a dud. So I think that's going to do it for me here, checking out and archiving, I don't know, all the different tribute stores that I visited. Now we have finally the Mardi Gras tribute store here at Universal Orlando. It, it was so fun to see like how they laid out the process of the floats. The merch is always good, the details are insane, and I got myself some old Maddox and that's always a good time. So, all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.